Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. And I'm going through my to-do list during the fall and winter time, and this is the time to do it when it's not 100 degrees and 90% humidity, and that's why I'm running like the devil uh, to get this done before hurricane season hits. Uh, because when you have these tropical storms come through, uh, they can dump over a foot of rain, and that's a lot of rainfall coming off your roof line, hitting the ground down below. And so what I've done is I've taken some of this 57 limestone and I'm pouring this about four feet out away from the foundation wall. The, the main thing is you just want to get it about a foot past the drip line and you want to pour it about three inches thick. You can see the trench is created over time. And so, you know, what can happen is it uh, can create erosion, of course, and then also it can damage the foundation too. And I'm going to point that out as well. I had some cracking going on on this side of the foundation wall. And so if you, that's a, this also, this would be a good time if you'd go and check your uh, brick walls and see if you have any cracks in them. And if you do, I uh, recommend you take pictures of them uh, while it's cracked and then take pictures after they're sealed. But if you have cracks in your walls that have displacement, uh, you probably want to contact a foundation contractor and maybe even possibly a structural engineer to come evaluate it and see what kind of problems you've got going on. Uh, just know that home inspectors are generally not qualified to render professional opinions on structural issues like this. Uh, but you can see where up here at the very top there's a lot of concentrated water that comes from these valleys and of course it was creating a big hole there. And I did put some red rock to kind of mitigate that issue, but the problem with this red rock is that it, it's washing out too. And the good thing about this smaller rock, it'll kind of compact down. It's even rolling down the hill. Uh, now, another thing too, this water was actually uh, going back up against the wall here at the very bottom and running down. And so what it was doing is creating these large uh, dirt clods. Those are actually, it looks like pieces of concrete, but it's not. That's actually dirt. And it created quite a few of those dirt clods. And so what was happening is, as the water would go against this wall, uh, it would dry and then create these large, what, what I call dirt clods. I used to have dirt clod fights back in the 60s when I was a kid. I even got a broken nose from it. Uh, but anyway, I, you know, uh, some people say, well, you know, why not use gutters? Uh, you can, you still uh, should have leaders that take the water away from the foundation if you do that. Uh, but in my opinion, this is better than gutters because gutters do require maintenance. And, and not only that, I've found where when gutters are against the, the fascia up there, it will cause rot to that. And even the gutters with the good screen systems uh, can get clogged. And I just think this is just a better way to, to do this. And it's, you know, but it is my opinion. But if you want to do gutters, that's better than absolutely nothing at all. Uh, but, you know, just know that you can get this gravel. Uh, by the truck load, you can even get it by the dump truck load, and that's even better than I guess getting it by the bag at Home Depot. You know, especially if you need a lot of it. I uh, hope this has been somewhat informative, guys, and get ready for hurricane season.